we spent the night here at Beaufort Marine Park and it's really beautiful here. Uh, in the winter season, the marine balls are free. So, and by marine balls, I of course mean mooring balls. They're free, which is really nice. And uh, we're gonna go explore the park and then we're gonna head off. So, it should be fun. Made it. How long of a hike do you think this is? I don't know. Let's get going. Took us a while, but we finally found some sort of lookout. We don't know if it's the real one, but it's pretty gorgeous. It's beautiful. Good hike too. A bit rainy. You can really hear the wind generator. We just finished our hike of Beaufort Marine Park. Um, it was so beautiful, even in the off season. We saw one other person on the trail, which was pretty unexpected, but it's, it's so gorgeous. Definitely worth coming and seeing. Um, and then right now, so it's just after lunch, we're gonna head on to Mont Montague Bay. Is it a bay? Montague Harbor. We're gonna head on to Montague, Har uh, Montague Harbor, which we've heard a lot about. We're quite excited about it. We've had a bit of rain today, so we're hoping that it's done. It's just cold, so hopefully there won't be rain. Gotta go get fuel first off. Oh yeah, I gotta get fuel, Let's get some water. We motored over to Poets Cove Marina where we were going to get fuel and water. Unfortunately, the wind was gusting quite a bit and there was a lot of debris in the water, which made it a little difficult to maneuver on our way to the fuel dock. There is one small flaw with our boat, and that is when the engine was upgraded, the gear selector was installed backwards to how it was originally designed. And sometimes I have accidentally put it in forwards instead of reverse. And sadly, today was one of those days. And at this moment was where it all went wrong. That was a little eventful. Lyndon hit forward instead of reverse. <sighs> Whoops. There's no one here either to grab a line and it was blowing pretty hard. Um, coming off the mountain here. Yeah. We just hit our, I don't know what that bar is, but took a bit of the dock out. Oopsies. But it looks all right. Yeah, I did. Did you fall? Did you miss the dock? No, I it's I slipped on it, and then I almost had to go in the water because I had to grab back line because you hit forward. <laughs> I know it would have been perfect if I if you listened to what I was telling I you to do. Reverse. Yeah, it was actually really good. That's what happens when you only drive the boat every. <sighs> I am shaking, Lyndon. That was really nerve wracking. <laughs> Okay. Lyndon just went to see if there's someone to pump fuel for us. Because we radioed and no one answered. And then we called the number when we got here and 
No one answered. Oh, I see him walking back now, so. He's alone though, so we need fuel. <laughs> Did you find anyone? Yeah. Good. Well, it's so hard to find anybody. Like... They're not expecting anyone. <laughs> There's like, it's beautiful. Oh, really? Yeah. Summer Look. would be nice to go here. Look at our wind generator. Very choppy out here. We've got about 10 knots of wind on our nose. And we're just motoring. It's very choppy. sails and it is crazy how much more calm it is or like comfortable of a ride well the seas are calm they have a bit we are we are only going three and a half knots though which is really too bad but we're getting lots of wind power and our boat started making this like raptor dinosaur sound which was pretty nerve-wracking but we think it's just the uh, painter line from the dinghy. It stretches and it sounds just prehistoric. Do you want me to drive? What? What were you were you doing both? Do you want me to do the dinghy? What? Line? Dinghy's out. We're good. I was just editing this episode and realized that I should probably explain what was going on with the water on the day we were sailing. I'll use this handy dandy whiteboard, which we thought we'd use a ton and we never really do. All we really do is keep track of who's winning the most <laughs> games at crib. Anyways, so we were just coming out of uh, Bedwell Harbor. It was gusting pretty hard and the water is really sort of getting super choppy. So we thought it was gonna be a great sail day. But anyways, we came out of this harbor here and it was really choppy. And we came around here and as we were motoring along, we realized that our knot meter was showing us only moving at six knots and our GPS was showing us moving at eight and a half knots. So there was a current going this way at about two and a half knots 
And so we were flying along. Once we were sort of were comfortable, we decided we should put our sails out. And meanwhile, we came to a point in the water where all of a sudden it was getting really, really choppy. So we motored through here. Once we got through this, it calmed down quite a bit and uh, we decided we would put our sails out. So whenever we put our sails out, we always nose into the wind to get the main sail up. And our wind was coming from about this direction. So we turned the boat around and went back into this really choppy area. And we ended up going through here. It was really choppy. I wrestled with putting the sails up, got the sails up, then we turned around, started heading this way. At that point, the wind basically died. Uh, the wind must have sort of been funneling from over here. We put the sails down and then we realized that we had another current coming through here and going through here, which was slowing us down to about three and a half, four knots. So we had another like two and a half knot current pushing against us now. So that's the two currents were meeting and creating this really, really choppy area. And of course we decided to go through it twice, put our sails up. It was so stupid. And uh, anyway, so we turned around, we started motoring again, and we were stuck in this two and a half knot current for the rest of the trip. So the motor was working really hard. And uh, then what was happening? So this pass here, this is called active pass. And all the ferries come out of here, and then they go through here. And the ferries move along at a pretty good clip. So we were trying to motor up to the harbor here and we had to dodge like three ferries and it was just like, it was just a pain of a day. Dodging ferries, the current was making us go so slow. But eventually we got through, through here and we anchored in Montague Harbor. So it was a pretty bad day on the water, but we made it through and now we learned the importance of timing currents, which we'd never really done before, other than a pass. Uh, it was a really tough sail to get here. We'd never even got to sail. So, but it's beautiful here. Another beautiful place, it's cold. So I think we're just gonna stay on the boat. Maybe tomorrow morning we'll I don't think there's much to see, so I don't know. We'll see. How are you feeling after that sail? Tired and very cold. I feel like it was frustrating because we were in we were fighting the current and there was no wind, but it was so choppy, so that was disappointing smoke in here. It's not smoke. Let's see if I can get that less in there. Um, yeah. I'm glad we're here. I'm just, it's cold. I just don't Very wet. I'm done with that. My fingers are frozen. This is smelling really good. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to join in on this adventure, click on our Patreon link. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We post a new episode every Wednesday. Thanks for watching.